always give you nice little cute folders. So this is Rhonda the Robin, um, Benji the Bear, and Charlotte the Spider. And then, so this is the bear. He's so cute, and he's putting together a party for all the insects in the forest. And then the spider comes along, and, it, and he's like, wait a minute, but you're not a you know, insects, so you can't be in the party. And so she's like super sad and she can't understand. She's like saying how fantastic she is, but then she's like, sorry, you know, and then the the Robin comes along and she's like, oh, we need this and that and this and that. We need like lace doilies and this party and oh, you know, Benji's like, oh my God, like how are we gonna find that? There's no way, blah, blah, blah. And then the class is supposed to say, hey, wait a minute, what about Charlotte the Spider? And before they can think of it, Charlotte the Spider's like super sad and she's like going with her little suitcase because she's going to move away to another forest because she's like so mad. And then all of a sudden the class and you were like, right, but you can help. And then all of a sudden Charlotte's all happy and she spins webs and all her friends do it and they have a big party and it is the end. <laughs> The main uh, speaking parts would be the uh, bear and the spider. The robin's just like, she's just a little frantic. So if you got someone that wants to just be like, hey, and then, you know. So that's pretty much, <laughs> that's the way I felt it was when I read it, but it's really cute. And um, I highly encourage, maybe even third grade enough, depending on your group of kids, or if you pick a group of kids who are really good readers, that they be the puppets. Because um, we're kind of encouraging that more now, more so than the parents, because they have so much fun with it. Yeah. And you could even copy off the script a couple days ahead of time if you wanted to, if they wanted to practice it. But most of it, I mean, they could just wing it the day of. The only one, like, um, like it's uh, arachnid or something like that, you know, the first time they might see it, it might be like, you know, they might need help on that word. Other than that, or however you say it, yeah. huh? How Arachne. It? Arachne. Yeah, yes. that's the only one that. To my big fat Greek wedding, because the root word arachna comes from the Greek word. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the only one, but it's a, it's really cute, and at least it's not too. Because I just finished. So oh, thank you, baby.